Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised journal test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that, that we are about to solve, or rather problems that we are about to solve, are the ones that you're going to find on page number 219. Today is our lesson number 75. There's a big jump from where we were yesterday. On day number 74, we were at page number 163. From 163 to 219, there is nothing in between except the explanation to the problems that they had given. Obviously, we're going to skip all of that. So that's exactly what, we, what we've been doing. We've been solving problems that they gave you. And the fact that you, the mere fact that you're watching this video, uh, tells me that uh, the explanation that they give you there in the book is perhaps uh, not altogether what you were looking for. We are on page number 219. On page 219, there are some exercises. There are some arithmetic exercises. Let me turn to that page myself here to see exactly what how it's laid out. Because I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, arithmetic exercises, what they call. They're very simple exercises. The only reason I'm doing these problems is because on day number one, I made the pledge. On day one, if you watch the video, I said that I will do every single math problem that appears in this book, regardless of how ridiculously simple it may be. And that's what it is. So let's start then. Number one. Question number one. A. Number one. A. It says 15 minus 6 minus 4 times minus 2 times negative 2. This is times negative 2. That's what it is you have to understand. So this is just 15 minus 6 minus 2 is 2 times negative 2 and now we're going to do this part. So 15 minus 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 and now this negative and this negative becomes positive. What it is in reality this negative 1, this negative that you see there, what it is in reality is, is the negative 1 here. And this is a positive 15. So negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4 and a positive 15 gives us 19. That was A. Let's take a look at B. B says 2 minus 17, 2 minus 17 divided by 15. 2 minus 17 is a negative 15. Negative 15 divided by neg divided by 5, which is negative 15 over 5. No, this 5 of course is a positive 5. Now listen, for those of you who need help in this area, negative 15 divided by positive 5 is the exact same thing as positive 15 divided by negative 5, which is the exact same thing as negative 15 divided by 5. And of course 15 divided by 5 is 3. It's negative 3 is the answer. Let's look at C. 60 divided by 12. Let's do it here. 60 divided by 12 minus a negative 7 plus a 4. So we do the parenthesis first here. 60 divided by 12 is just 5. We'll just leave it alone here. Negative 7 and a positive 4 is going to give us negative 3. And then negative times negative is positive, so we have 5 plus 3, which gives us 8. That was C. Let's take a look at D. We need the room. We need the room big time. D says 3 raised to 4 minus negative 2 raised to the third. Now here's what we have to keep in mind. A negative number a negative number raised to an odd power remains negative. For example For example here, negative 2 raised to the third power, negative 2 is a negative number raised to an odd power is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 
So negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So that takes care of these two parts. And then times negative 2, we end up with a negative quantity of negative 8. Had it been negative 2 raised to a fourth power, an even power, it would, it would have become positive. Let's do it here. Had it been fourth power instead of a third power, had it been fourth power, we would have had one more here. And here negative 2 times negative 2, this negative 2 times negative 2 becomes positive 4. And here we would have had, instead of negative, instead of negative 8, we would have had positive 16. This is the negative 8. What is 3 raised to 4? 3 raised to 4 is 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, and 27 times 3 is 81. 27 times 3 is 81. How do I know that? How do we know that 27 times 3 is 81? Because 27, because 27 is made up of 25 and a, and a, and a 2. 3 25s are 75s and 3 2s are 6. Again, 3 25s are 75 and 3 2s are 6. 6 plus 75 is 81. And that's a negative 8. So it's 81 and this becomes negative plus negative, negative times negative is positive. Becomes 89. I really don't know how much I need to explain here. This is, this is sometimes I feel silly here. But since I, since I had to do it, it has to be done. I really don't want to skip anything. So one more time, a negative number raised to a negative number raised to an even power. It should say power. An even power becomes raised to an even power becomes positive. Negative 2 raised to 6. Negative 2 raised to 6 is a positive number. We were at D. Let's look at E. P says negative 5 times negative 3 minus a 15. Negative 5 times negative 3 is a positive 15. A positive 15 minus a 15 is just going to give you a big fat 0. Let's look at F. F says negative 2 raised to 4th. Negative 2 raised to 4th. We just did that. And 15 minus 18. What I'm trying to make you understand is that in these questions that we're doing here, there should be absolutely no reason whatsoever for anybody to have to re pick up a calculator. It doesn't require any calculator. These are simple problems. Very simple problems. So if you have this uncontrollable urge to reach for the calculator, you need to control yourself. Negative 4 raised to the 4th. Negative, negative raised negative, negative, ra negative 2 raised to a 4 is the exact same thing as 2 raised to a 4. There is no difference. Because it is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Positive 4 times negative 2 times negative 2. Positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And negative 8 times negative 2 is a positive 16. Which is exactly what this is, positive 16. So this part is positive 16. I took up all the room, didn't I? So this part right here is positive 16. 15 minus 18 is a negative 3. Negative 3 raised to 4. Again, negative 3 raised to 4 is same as 3 raised to 4. And 3 raised to 4, we just saw that. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, and 27 times 3 is 81. So that's the positive 81. Oh, so it's 16 times 81. Bloody hell, did they actually give you 16 times 81? So let's do it out here, 16 times 81. 16 times 81. Now listen, 16 times 81, the way it is given here, you could do it like this. 
it's just a matter of preference. I like to I don't like to multiply everything by eight. I prefer to multiply everything by six. So I'm just going to do eighty-one times sixteen. Eighty-one times sixteen. So that's six. Eight six is forty-eight, and then eighty-one. Looks like twelve ninety-six is the answer. Let's keep on going. We are at F. How many more do we have? Two more. G is the penultimate one. G is the The word that I just used was G is the penultimate one. Penultimate simply means second to the last because H is the last one. And if you want to learn this word properly, along with some other words, if you're interested, you can watch the vocabulary lesson and learn some more words. Day number 11. Just type in my name, Fishwani, and then vocabulary day 11, and you will learn this word, penultimate. G is the penultimate one. Let's see what it says in G. 20, 20 divided by 5 squared times negative 2 plus 6 cubed. 20 divided by 5 is just 4. So this is just 4 squared times negative 2 and a positive 6 is going to give us positive 4. A positive 4 cubed. Oh, so it's just a this is a 2 squared, this is a 4 cubed, so it's just a 4 raised to 5th. We just have to figure out what is 4 raised to 5th. 4 raised to 5th is 4, 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 4 is 60, 64, and that's it. After that I run out of gas. The rest we have to do manually, 64 times 16. Well, I could have left it the way it was then. 16 times 64, let's do it out here, 64 times 16, 24, 2, 36 and 2 is 38, and then 64, 1, carry 1, of course, what was I thinking, 1000, 1024, which of course is, six, is 4 is to 8, 4 is to 8, which of course is same as 2 is to 16, and that's how they define in the computer the megabyte. Megabyte is not 1000 kilobyte because of the fact that it's a binary thing. In the, in the computer it's 1024. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, where were we? That was G. Let's look at H. negative 85 times, I'm reading it in the book here because I want to make sure that I did not copy it wrong, times 0 minus a negative 17 times 3. Well, any number times 0 is 0. Any number, any number, doesn't matter what it is, any number times 0 equals 0. So negative 85 times 0 is just 0. So this part, this entire part is 0. So what we have here is negative, negative 17 times 3. 17 times 3 is, how much is 17 times 3? It is 51. And how do I know that? Because 15 times 3, 15 times 3 I know is 45. And then 2 times 3 is 6. So 45 plus 6 is 51. And we have a negative here, a negative here, so it's a positive 51. That's it. That's our answer. That was the end of that part. We'll do all the exercises, we'll do all the arithmetic exercises, we'll do all the algebra exercises, we're going to do everything. And eventually the goal is to get to the last two exams that they give you in the book and that'll be the end of the journey. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.